Good morning, students. In this video lecture, we are going to see a freely suspended problem. Um, what is freely suspended problem? Now, a cylinder is available. I'm going to tie up one thread on the one of the circumference point of the base. I'm going to tie up one thread along this one of the circumference point of the base. So when I suspend the object here, the object becomes like this. Okay. Now, because of the gravity, here one vertical line will be forming. So the solid is naturally aligning, aligning in such a way that the line joining midpoint of the axis to this uh, string point will be vertical like this. So this is the initial position here. I'm going to tie up one thread here. When you uh, suspend this object in here, the object will become like this. Now, the line joining the gravity, center of gravity of the cylinder with the point at which thread is available will be vertical because of the gravitational force. So in this orientation, we are going to construct the diagram. So when the uh, cylinder is suspended in the air, the axis of the cylinder will be inclined to HP. So we have to start the diagram with the top view. For all suspended solid problems, we have to start the diagram in the top view only. Okay. Now, uh, when you draw the front view, important thing you have to note down is the line joining midpoint of the axis to the point at which the string is tied up will always be vertical because of the gravitational force. Okay. So, in this orientation, we are going to construct the drawing. So, by the object is freely suspended by means of a string from one of its base points. That's what the condition given axis parallel to the vertical plane. So in this, um, for all the freely suspended problem, we are going to start the diagram with the top view only. Okay. Whether it may be the prism or cylinder or cone or pyramid, whatever the object may be, for all the suspended, freely suspended problem, we have to start the diagram with the top view. So you draw the uh, initial position for the cylinder, divide the circle into eight equal parts. Use the notation for the top base circle. We are going to give the notations A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. For the bottom base circle, give the notations 1, 2, 3, 4. So draw the projections. Draw the axis line here. You know the axis height of the cylinder is given as 70 mm. So this will form the baseline of the cylinder in the front view. Draw the vertical axis side, 70 mm, and construct the front view. Now in the middle, center line, axis line and the generators are coinciding. Give priority to the axis line. So A, B, C, D available at the top. One, two, three, four available at the bottom. Now we have to find out the center of gravity of the cylinder. For some cylinder. Center of gravity, CG point will be H by 2. Suppose axis height is given as 70 mm. Center of gravity point will be 
lies 35 mm above the base along the axis. So mark the center of gravity 35 mm. That is mid mark the midpoint of the axis. That will be the center of gravity point. For that point, give the notation G dash. Okay. Now you join one diagonal like this. So that you can find out the center of gravity point G dash. The second diagram, you have to tilt this friend wheel in such a way that this diagonal becomes vertical so that object will be freely suspended in air. So just make this diagonal as vertical. For example, it should be, but it should be above the x y line because it is freely suspended problem. It is the simplest way of uh, working out the problem. Now measure the length of the diagonal 1 e dash. So draw one uh, vertical line. What is the height of this vertical line? That will be equal to 1 dash e dash. This diagonal only I have drawn it. Now we have to locate. So what will be the notation here? This will be 1 dash. Here it will be e dash. Now we have to locate this corner point phi and the a in our diagram. How to locate the corner point of phi? Using this 1 and e, you have to locate the corner point phi. How to locate that point? Now look at the diagram. So this diagonal already I have transferred here. Anyway, so I have drawn uh, comparatively lesser here. Anyway, now measure one dash five dash. Measure the radius one dash five dash. And rather, the radius will be 1 dash and 5 dash. So, what will be the next radius? E dash and 5 dash. So, the center point the E dash, rather, so what will be the radius here? E dash and Phi dash. So, what is the notation here? We have located the corner point phi dash. Okay. Now you can join these two points. The same way you have to locate the corner point A. So measure 1 dash n A dash from the corner point 1, consider the arc. So, radius will be 1 dash and A dash. Then what will be the next radius? E dash and A dash. So, the radius E dash and A dash. Center point will be E. So, the center point E can set the. So, that is going to intersect forming the corner point A. Now transfer all the intermediate points. 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4. All those points you transfer. So this will be 2 dash and 8 dash. Here it will be B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now you have to construct the top. Draw the projectors from the top and front view. A1. 
So this is B. B1. C1. D1 D1 So this will be D1 and H1. The same way, find out for 1, 2, 3, 4. So in action 1 and the A, both are coinciding. So this will be 1, 1. So 1 and E available in the same location. So 1 will not be visible. So put 1 within the bracket. Only can't find A, E will be visible. 1 will not be visible. So put 1 within the bracket. Then XM 2. Two one three one four one. Five one six one seven one and eight one. Now you have to look top it here. The circular base will be completely visible. So this A B C D A B C D will be completely visible for one, two, three, four. The outer base circle will be visible. Inner base circle will not be visible. Now, the circle extreme generators will be visible. So join the extreme generators. All other generators you no need to draw. Only outer generators you have to give priority to the uh, cylinder and cone.